everybody this is taylor with taylor talks episode i think six maybe um it's been kind of a long time uh since i made a video but i'm back at it and this is kind of a chaotic video um haven't been on my adhd meds in a while and it kind of shows <laughs> but um so yeah we have a few finished objects and a lot a lot of started things that haven't been finished so i'm gonna show everything that of that to y'all so yeah okay let's get to the video okay so i figured i would say what i'm drinking so this is my mug it says what's up it's the little giraffe and i am drinking let me see i bought it i am drinking sugar cookie sleigh ride and it is very festive um just for the aesthetics i'm gonna pretend it tastes good but it's absolutely disgusting it's so bad um it smells no it doesn't smell good either It's not very good. Um, but yeah, so that, there's that. And then, um, so we have this guy, the Grinch, sitting right here. Um, <laughs> I made him a few years ago. And I thought, okay, my sense of humor is not very funny, but <laughs> so um, he doesn't have an eye. <laughs> but um, okay, so here's the story about him. Um, so this is the Grinch from like the new movie. Um, and I think in the pattern he has safety eyes but um for whatever reason I don't know what happened to them okay he's been through a lot and then um my mom she works at a daycare so you can imagine why he only has one eye um so she took him to the daycare because she was like oh I want to sit him on my desk at work um so yeah a bunch of kids come through the office and apparently we're picking at his eyes and then now that's why he looks like this <laughs> so yeah um there's mr grinch and i figured i would get him out because of christmas time and i didn't fix his eye because i just thought the story was funny and i just wanted him to be like that so yeah so there he goes okay so let's see i wrote a i wrote a list of everything because it's a lot so just buckle up okay so um the first thing i don't have with me because it was an order that my dad made and it was a turkey for thanksgiving so i'll put a picture right here and then i'll also put a picture of the pattern right here to compare um so basically uh what i did different the colors were different because i wanted him to look more like cartoony and not as realistic as the um, other picture. And so his feathers were all like, you know, the cartoony kind of, you know, red, green, yellow. Um, and then also in the pattern, um, I don't like, <laughs> I don't like crocheting in really tiny circles. Um, and the pattern, his, his gobble thing on his nose, I don't know what they're called but I just call him gobbles. <laughs> um, his gobble thing uh, was really tiny. So I was like, mm -mm, mm -mm. I know a better way to do that. Um, maybe not better, but like it was faster. Um, and I just did like a chain and then I went back in the chain. So I did like single crochets in the chain and then I just sewed it right on him. Uh, and then um, my dad wanted him to have a top hat. So I went to Hobby Lobby because I know where everything is on Hobby Lobby and I knew that they had these tiny little top hats conveniently and I went and got him a top hat and put him on him and he looks super cute. So here is the turkey and I think he turned out really cute. And um, I brought him for Thanksgiving and he was sitting on the table during Thanksgiving while we were eating. <laughs> so yeah. Um, okay, so the next things I do have with me um so first this big thing um 
I saw this poncho on TikTok and it's not like a normal poncho. It's more like, it's like a poncho cardigan kind of thing. Um, I'm calling this my finished objects section, but um, it's not completely finished because I told you that <laughs> I'm having a little bit of a chaotic day <laughs> or um, past long while. Hello, darkness, my Okay, <laughs> so um, this is the yarn that I used and it was, what was it? Um, what was it? It's not Craft Smart. It's not Craft Smart. Um, I'll put a picture right here. There's, there's the yarn. Um, but it's from Hobby Lobby. It's $11.99, which they were $9.99 and then they went up. Um, so it's $11.99. I bought two skeins of them. They're pretty big. Uh, I think there's almost like 600 yards in them. Um, so this is the, this is the tea. Okay. I got, it's kind of hard to see in this, how I'm holding it up. But if I'm feeling confident enough, I will put a picture of me in it right here. Um, and I haven't built up the confidence to wear this out in public, but maybe someday I will. Um, so I saw a video on TikTok and I was like, okay, I want to make it like that. Um, but I didn't know like the construction of like a poncho, but okay, I'm getting everywhere. <laughs> a poncho is normally like a triangle in the front and also it doesn't open most of the time. Um, but this one that I saw was like straight on the bottom in the front and then open like a cardigan. And I was like, okay, I need to find a pattern as close to what that looked like as possible. And then if there's any, to see like the construction of it and then I can make changes. So I bought this pattern and it's a vintage pattern. Um, and I'll put a picture right here of what it looks like. It looks nothing like mine. <laughs> um, but in the pattern, it had a hood. I didn't had to add a hood because the one that I wanted wasn't a hood. But the one that I wanted does have a collar. And so I put these down and I need to sew them. So like, it's kind of flipped over. Um, if that makes sense and I'm gonna like sew that down so like it stays in like a little flipped over collar uh, And then so I bought that pattern. It was like two dollars and 47 cents. I think um, and Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know how much it was. But anyways, um, I Bought that pattern and I was like, oh, okay, that looks easy enough and then I read one line of it and one row and then I was like okay I got it from here duh and then, <laughs> which um, um I probably could have used the pattern but um this after that I just I just did it and let me tell you I felt so free I felt like I was blowing in the wind um because I didn't need a pattern I was just going with it the plastic bag will cover vast distances through neighborhoods across parks and down city streets. Um, this was really fun to make. I made it in like, uh, maybe three days. And it's pretty big. Um, it's pretty oversized. And so, you know, I just, <laughs> it needed, okay. Ponchos, normally they don't have like armholes. Uh, but this poncho that I saw did. So, I made some armholes. Two, three, three, three armhole number two uh and it's just basically like a cardigan it just goes like this it's goes like this if that makes sense so yeah um to be honest it kind of looks more like a shawl and when it's on uh and i'm not like i really like shawls like i would i want to wear them but I'm not confident. <laughs> like I feel like 
I don't know. So I feel like it looks like a shawl and I'm not confident to wear a shawl. So then it's like, okay, it's a shawl, but it's really a poncho. But like also I'm not confident wear, not to wear a poncho either. So it's like, uh. uh, but I just mostly made it to see if I could make it. And cause I thought it was cute and maybe someday I will wear it. So, uh, there is that. Okay. Next. Okay. We have a whole video. Um, okay. So, um, I had a bright idea wasn't a very bright idea um to get a dog and uh she's really cute and I fell for it um I got her from the shelter and she is a mess she is like seven months old the vet said and she has really bad anxiety and um separation anxiety and we thought that it would wear off but it hasn't and so we took her to the vet and um she actually has such bad anxiety that she throws up okay i'm going into a spiel this has nothing to do with crochet but if y'all want to hear about the dog situation stay so um she has really bad separation anxiety to the point where she throws up and so we took her to the vet and she is now on dog anxiety medicine and it's been helping kind of uh, she's still very chaotic. Um, so, okay, hold on. And, um, I named her Phoebe. And part of the reason why I named her Phoebe was because Llama Mama Kayla has a dog named Phoebe. And Phoebe is so cute. And I was like, okay. I love the name Phoebe. Her dog is cute. My dog kind of looks like her dog. Her name can be Phoebe. Um, so I named her Phoebe and I thought that would make her maybe a good dog because Mama Mama Kayla's dog seems really nice and sweet <laughs> my dog is a nuisance. <laughs> um, so the name thing didn't work out. So, um, I made a sweater for Phoebe and I will put a picture right here of her in her sweater. Um, because, uh. I can't find it. I don't know where Phoebe put her sweater. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. But I do know this is the yarn I made. I used. It is called I Love This Yarn from Hobby Lobby. And the colorway is Orange Zest, which I wouldn't name that Orange Zest, but um, so there it is up close. Hopefully that's focusing. Uh, Phoebe is crazy. Um, so then, um, okay, there, there, it's a whole long story. There's more to it, but, um, we have decided that we think that we're just going to be foster parents for her. Um, so now we're kind of just fostering her until she finds like a home, um, that can take care of her better because, I have really bad anxiety, she has really bad anxiety, and it just doesn't mesh, it doesn't mesh good. But she has a sweater. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, and then I decided to make another sweater for her because I really liked that pattern. It was super easy, super quick. Um, I always need something to make with my variegated yarns and I feel like this is just perfect. Um, so here is, the next one and this is a whip because it's not done but um yeah I really like the way that the colors are pulling up and this one is also I love this yarn but it doesn't have the tag on it so sorry uh, so <laughs> but yeah I'm trying my best okay um okay next let's look at the list stay on the list Okay, next is the doll dress. Doll, doll dress. Okay, so making sure I'm on the right one. Okay, so this I haven't shown y'all uh, because I haven't made anything for her yet. But um, this is from Target, I think. Target. Um, okay, so lots of um, crocheters have like cute little patterns and like knitter knitters and stuff for dolls obviously because I make a lot of doll dresses but um 
I don't have a doll or I didn't have a doll that was 18 inches and there's a bunch of patterns that are 18 inches so I had to get one of course duh um so this is her isn't she so cute um so now she has her little elf dress on and she's a little elf and then I need to get like little buttons and I think I need to use like snowflake buttons like right here and um I think that would be really cute this yarn is from Hobby Lobby it is a uh, velvety yarns let's see it is velvet smooth sparkle this isn't the color I use but this is one of them uh yarn B and when I got this I actually was thinking wow that would be really good for Christmas because those are like perfect Christmas colors and sparkle um and it wasn't Christmas yet so when I got it so I was like this is literally perfect um I put like fuzzy yarn up on her the brim the pattern doesn't have it like that but um I thought that was cute and also the pattern doesn't have a little bell but I added a bell um and I just changed her hair to pigtails so that her hair would fit in her little elf hat and um I didn't make her shoes um because I start too many projects <laughs> so <laughs> she doesn't have shoes um so yeah uh, I think that's all I need to say about the dress. So here she is up close and you can see she has little sparkles on her dress. Um, so yeah, there's that. Okay. Next is probably, um, the easiest thing that I have in this whole video, but it's my favorite. Okay. Um, so we have the return of Biddy. <laughs> So one day, I think it was the same day I made her dress actually, um, I was like, Benny is just sitting there all cold. Like <laughs> he's telling me he looks cold. <laughs> um, so I was like, let me try and like make him a little hat, a Santa hat. <laughs> Um, so I just freehanded this, like it took probably like 20 minutes. Um, I just single crocheted around his little head, around his little noggin and just started working and made this little Santee hat. And I used the same, uh, fluffy yarn that I did with her hat. And oh my gosh, is he like, he actually looks like actually cute now. Maybe dude, I, I think crazy things are cute so you tell me is he cute is he cute now I think Benny's cute oh and his arm has been falling off um that happened when I was measuring his head um but it just snaps right back on he yeah he doesn't mind <laughs> so yeah there is Benny Benny okay um so next finished object we're still on finished object even though they're kind of not finished um, but I'm calling them finished objects. Okay. Next is called the drawstring beanie. Um, and okay, here it is. Okay. There's a little bit of a problem. Can you tell that it looks a little short? Um, so it's, it's just like not that long. Um, in in the video his looked like it fit um so it's probably just my tension and i need to go up a hook but um or just chain more but this this pattern i really really liked um i so basically um you go like this instead of around and i thought that was interesting and then also i did this thing where i made the little tuft um two different colors, which the ones I've seen have been just one color, but I thought that I would like a little tuft with white and black. So yeah, so mine is really short and it just looks a little weird on me. Like everybody has always told me that I have a small forehead, but this 
makes me look like I have a ginormous forehead. Like it looks like I have a receding hairline. Um, I just need to make it longer. Like, and I don't really think I'm a beanie person. Like I just don't really look good on beanies. Um, but yeah, I just need to make it, I just need to restart and make it longer. Um, but I will link all of these patterns down below because I thought this was a really good pattern. I really liked it. And it uses this stitch called the herringbone stitch. And I've never done that. And I really, really liked it. So, um, let me show up close. I don't know if it's showing or if you can see, but yeah. Um, okay. I'm trying to stay in order. Um, so that I don't get all crazy. I'm already crazy. So next is something I've been working on over the past few days. Uh, and I think this is actually my very first, is it? Yeah, I think this is my very first knit item that I've shown. And um, most of my things have been crochet. And I hope y'all don't mind, but I'm sure there's some knitters up there too. Uh, this is a free pattern, which, oh my gosh, I am so surprised because this is, this is an intense pattern and also like, I would pay, definitely pay for this. Um, this is the most intense pattern I've probably, well, probably one of the more intense, it's definitely one of the more intense ones. So this is the, it's, hopefully I can get, give this justice, but this is the details, is the cables on there. It is a bonnet and I've been wanting to make a bonnet and basically this part, okay, I'll put a picture. Hopefully I already have a picture up because I feel like y'all need that for context. But so this is this part right here. And then it starts going into like back here and then like around right here on these sides. Um, so this took me a good maybe like seven hours um and i kind of blocked it kind of halfway blocked it um so now all of my stitches are pretty straight and it is ready to start the next part of the bonnet this was like section one and then now i need to move on to the next section so i am really proud of this this, <laughs> this is, i'm really proud of this um okay so this was knit with double pointed needles and a cable needle so my hands were hurting bad so as i was doing that i was like okay let me cast on another project even though i just cast on that um so i started making this <laughs> okay it's very chaotic right now but I'm in a hat mood. I, I've done like four hats. Not really. I haven't done them, but <laughs> I've started them. Um, okay. This is the ugly Christmas sweater beanie. And I, there are several things I need to say about this, but let me, let me get up close. Okay. So the things I need to say about it. First thing that I don't like is it's in um, size three yarn and I usually use worsted weight and it's, it's a pain. I don't like using size three yarn. It just, I feel like I've been working on this um, since I was born uh, because oh my gosh. And there's just so many color changes. Like I know that's the point of the pattern, but like there's such small rows and I'm color changing all of the time. And there's so many ends to weave in. Like I'm gonna finish this because I want to wear it on Christmas. Cause it's the ugly Christmas sweater beanie. Like everybody else is gonna have ugly Christmas sweater and I'm gonna be like cool cause I have a beanie, ugly Christmas sweater. Ugly, ugly Christmas beanie. <laughs> um so yeah this and it just seems like it's not gonna fit my head okay 
Okay, uh, no, that actually feels like it's gonna go. Yeah, like it, like this seems like it should have been size four yarn, but the pattern didn't say size four yarn, so I don't know what they're talking about because this is not working. Um, that's yeah. Um, I'll keep going with that and hopefully, hopefully something good comes out of it. Okay, next is something that I casted on this morning. Yeah, this morning. Um, and it is called the Ear Flap Beanie. And it is a knit. Um, I'll put a picture right here. Okay, I have been, okay, I have been into weird hats situations lately like I don't I don't know like I'm this little tuft hat it's really cute but it's not like what you normally think of I guess because it has a little tuft on the top um and then I had the bonnet which is kind of a weird hat uh, and then the ugly Christmas sweater beanie um and then this ear flap beanie um, this pattern was like for babies, but like, I thought it was cute. And also they had adult sizes, but like usually hats like this are for babies, but, um, I wanted one. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm making the adult size and so far, so far, so good. I have the two little ear flaps. See how it dips right here? Yeah, it's going really good. Um, so I have to knit seven inches from this to up, seven inches up, um, and then we can get to the decreases for the top. And the decreases for the top is kind of pointy and looks cute on babies, but like, I don't know if it'll look cute on me. So we're gonna see. We'll see if I can pull this thing off. And then, y'all are gonna love this. Look at my stitch marker. It's a little cat. Um, I got this for Christmas a couple years ago from my mom and it's from Etsy. Um, so yeah, little cat stitch marker. Um, yeah, I'm using, what am I, oh, I don't know what I'm using. I'm really bad at that. My ball bands, they're everywhere. I, I can't tell y'all what I'm using because I don't know. Um, it's just a gray, just a gray. Um, okay. There's that. Oh, um, also, okay. There's a lot of things. Um, I am really bad at gauge swatching. Um, by really bad, I mean, I don't do it most of the time. And, um, so with that garter, the ear flap beanie that I just showed, um, I was like, yeah, my head is kind of like this size, probably a little bit close to that so um the measurement seems that in my heart it feels right inches small heart grew three sizes that day um so i um also i was like well i knit kind of tight so like let's go up a size probably maybe sure so i did that too um, so for that hat, I don't know if it's going to come out the right size, um, or the bonnet, honestly, I really hope it does fit because that took a long time, but the ear flap beanie, like the ear flap hat, whatever it's called, if it doesn't fit, it kind of went by fast. Like it's knitting pretty fast. So, um, that won't be too bad, but the bonnet, I will cry. <laughs> um, okay. There are so many things. Oh my gosh. I am sorry. I have like, okay. It's intermission time. Start. Okay, also y'all are gonna have to comment because I don't know if y'all like seeing like all these whips. Like I just, I haven't posted in a long time, so I wanted to like catch y'all up with everything. <laughs> but like, Taylor, you need to slow down and like actually finish something. Like, is it fun to see whips? I like to see other people's whips, but um, 
if y'all don't, then I'll just do finished objects. Because my whole channel has basically been finished objects. Um, but today, I'm just throwing the whips at you. And these aren't like whips that are like sitting in the corner. Like these are like, like I'm planning on finishing. This, I don't even know what to tell y'all about this. I think it goes, does it go? No, it goes this way. This is... I have a bookmark. Look how organized I am. Okay. This is this little monkey. She's so cute. Um, I don't know what I'm going to make out of them because they're just like little squares. I'll probably, I probably won't actually, <laughs> but, um, I'll just make a bunch of them. I was going to say I was probably going to make a blanket, but Um, so yeah, here's this and I've actually been getting better at like color changes like this. I used to, I used to do it a really weird way. I don't know. I don't know. All I needed to do was like, look up how to do it and actually do it because I just did it how I thought I should do it. And it wasn't right. And now I'm doing it right. See how clean it looks. It looks so pretty. Um, so yeah. Okay, and then the next thing I have is her little muzzle. So it goes like that. And I think I made her ears, but I don't know where they are. So, uh, yeah. But really, there's not much more to do with this. Like, I could probably finish it in like an hour, honestly, because the, the eyes, the ears, the bow, and the little hairs, that, they're small. Next, let's see. We're getting all off track because I have more than I wrote down on my list because my list is wrong. Okay, next we have this. Okay. <laughs> um, so this was supposed to be for Halloween. I wasn't going anywhere on Halloween, but I just to say I did. Was I running it right this way? But I have a reason for not finishing this one, okay? This one, I didn't finish because um, I ran out of this red yarn and it's like, Taylor, why didn't you use a different red yarn? Because it's all variegated. Um, I was lazy, but we're gonna pretend like the problem was that I didn't have yarn. And um, the yarn that I needed is at Joanne's and Joanne's is like two hours away from me. So, um, I did drive to Joanne's, but I didn't get the yarn, but we're not going to talk about that either. Um, yeah. So this is my hat. Um, and it needs little mushrooms. Um, it's supposed to have little mushrooms. I'll put a picture. Hopefully I always say that. Hopefully I already have the picture up. Um, so yeah, there's that hat. Um, it's like a little mushroom wizard hat. Um, okay. Next, list, 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 stay on the list. Okay, next. Okay, this, this I am really proud of because I asked my mom if she wanted anything uh, for like Christmas decor because she always asked me to like make stuff for like holidays. Like my dad asked me to make that turkey um, and she came up with that she wanted this pillow. And this pillow is intimidating me. The, most of it's done. <laughs> like, most of it. Like, what am I talking about? Um, but the part that's intimidating me is that I'm going to have three colors. I'm going to have this, like, heathered type of thing with the green and the red. Hmm probably not as hard as I'm thinking it is but that has stopped me and I really wanted to give it to her on December 1st but um I didn't because <laughs> it's right here um so this is the thing I take shortcuts in my projects oh Benny I feel like 
I feel like my mom wouldn't care. Like as long as it gets done. So I feel like my mom wouldn't care as long as it gets done because she'll probably be surprised even if it does get done. She probably doesn't even remember she asked me for this, but um, so the pattern and all patterns of pillows, like I feel like the only part that matters is the front because you don't see the back. So what I was gonna do is all I need to do is finish this front and then I was gonna get like Christmas fabric and then put it on the back. But the last time I did that for my mom's pillow, I accidentally sewed on the fabric backwards and then I gave it to her. And she didn't even notice. <laughs> she didn't even notice. So I feel like she won't care if it's Christmas and it's on right. If she didn't even care if it was on wrong, duh perfect idea <laughs> so there's that stockings okay here's the stockings. oh long rant about this okay these are also knit um and I had a great idea me and my boyfriend me and my boyfriend don't have stockings and we've lived together for one Christmas already and last year we didn't have stockings so I was like okay we need stockings this year and I was also hoping to get them done on December 1st but of course I didn't um so the first thing um there's two sides okay vintage patterns are kind of constructed kind of weird I don't know why but um so the stocking but I kind of appreciated it too so maybe that it wasn't too weird the stocking was knit, the stocking was knit in front and a back. And then you put them together and you seam them together, um, which is fine. So my stocking is gonna be red. Hopefully it's gonna be red because hopefully I finish it. I'm gonna be red. And then his stocking is gonna be green. So here's the red and here's the green. And it is literally the shape of a stocking. And it kind of looks a little wonky because it's not laid out, but, or sewn together. So I knit both of the backs. And I think this is where I had my problem. I knit both of the backs because I was like, okay, let's get the easy done, easy part out of the way. Because I feel like the second part is gonna be fun because it is um, color work. So like you're changing colors, you're making the cute little pattern and that will keep me interested. It hasn't, it hasn't. It is chaos. It is pure chaos. Um, so this is the back. And then, so I'm knitting, I'm knitting a bear for me, the red one. And then for him is gonna be Santa. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all far away. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna do that to you. I'll get up close. So, this is what it looks like. It just, I am really terrible at changing colors. I've never figured out how to do it good. It's do, like, it's doable. Like, it's, it's put upable. It's stockingable. It'll look okay. I feel like once it's completely finished. But right now, it, it's not inspiring me. That looks disgusting. But these are his little feetsies, and then that's like mistletoe. Right there, that green part. So that is that. I really just need to get through it. And then at the top of the stocking, you can join them. Well, this isn't what the pattern said, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so I'm gonna conjoin them, and then I'm gonna pick up stitches in the round and then um, make like a white border, which in the pattern it has that, but it didn't do it the way I'm gonna do it. Well, possibly might do it. Um, I am gonna do it. As long as I have them before Christmas day, that is all that matters, right? Next thing I have, I don't have much to say about it because I barely have anything on it. Um, but I just wanted, I mostly wanted to talk about it because how cute the pattern is. Okay, this is all I have. Um, and the pattern is a Sunday 
mermaid unicorn. So here's a picture. And I thought she was so cute, isn't she? Um, so this is Big t big Twist classic yarn. And it is kind of fuzzy. And it's like this. And it is size 5 yarn, which... The reason I picked this was because... Oh, no. Stitches are coming out. Um, because I didn't have any white yarn, but now I do. So, um, but I like this. This is the way it's pulling up. It is so pretty. This is going to be the unicorn's head. Possibly. Okay. Next we have another knit item. And this is a shirt. Are they called shirts? Shirt, sweater, sweater shirt. And I was going on this pattern. It is called the Summer Ella. And when I print out a pattern, you know it's getting really intricate patterns because I can uh, print out like, what was I saying? Because I can mark them off. There we go. Yay. I'm using my Chow Goo needles, which I love. Couldn't recommend more. And then the reason why I stopped this. So the first part is like a, a graph of the, like, is it called lace work? I don't know if it's lace. Like, it's not really lace, but like, it's like design. I don't know. So um, after that, you split for the sleeves sleeve holes and then you start working the body but at that point is when you can try it on so I put all I got all of my stitches off the needle and I put it on some yarn so that I can put it on so this is the shirt looks like this and it I thought green would be perfect because of the leaves so the reason why I stopped making this and this was probably three weeks ago when I stopped making it the reason I stopped making this was because for the lame lame reason of I need to put the stitches back onto the needle and then start knitting again um, <laughs> So since they're off the needle, it doesn't make me want to work on them. Cause I'm like, oh, if I start it, then I'm going to have to put them back on the needle and then I'm going to like, it's going to take a long time. And so that's why I haven't done it. But like, it's so pretty that I just, I just need to, I just need to get on it. Okay. So there's that. Oh, and let me show this bag. This bag I made probably six months ago um okay this is is it called the japanese slipknot bag there is a tutorial here on youtube by i think it's bag go day um and yeah that is this and you just make a little slipknot and then it's like that you hold it like that so there's a short side and a long side and i really like these colors it was from i think it was Walmart mandala yarn um so there's that here is a another doll and she is supposed to little Bo peep and I don't like her dress so that's why it's been sitting in my craft room forever and I haven't finished it but I'm planning on it because I, I don't know I spent so much time um, so here she is. She is supposed to be, no, she's supposed to be Little Miss Muffet. Um, I get them mixed up. And she's supposed to have like a little bonnet on her head. And so I need to make her bonnet and then I need to make her bows and stuff. And then I think she's done. And then I was thinking of like making a, like a little clay um, sheep or something. I don't know crochet it or something 
Um, the reason why I don't like her dress is because I don't like think the colors look good. And let's see. Um, yeah, her her dress just isn't. It's just not calling to me. Her ruffles were supposed to be longer, but I ran out of yarn. Her bonnet I'm supposed to make, but I don't know where the yarn is for the bonnet because it's supposed to be this color. Um, of course, I don't know where the yarn is. Okay, the last things are acquisitions, which, oh, there's a story about these. I left these at my parents' house and that's why I haven't, I, I got these a long time ago, but I finally just got them again. I left them at my parents' house and they were from a thrift store, um, a thrift, sh a thrift store, a thrift store. They were from a thrift store and, um, they came in this little book. They came in this little bag this brown bag, you know, like the, the lunch sack things. Um, and of course I brought them in my parents' house to like show my parents. Um, they're like, ew. <laughs> uh, I think they're cute. Um, but anyways, brought them in and of course, of course, that same day or that morning, cause I, it was, it was in the morning when I got there that morning my dad went to go get burritos and what do the burritos come in a brown sack the same brown sack that my dolls were in um and i left to go somewhere my dolls were on the table with the burritos <laughs> and um my brother was like cleaning up and you can guess what happened my dolls went into the trash with the burritos because he thought that it was an old burrito sack. <laughs> so, so, um, but like you can see how, cause this was like the paper they were wrapped in. That looks like burrito paper. <laughs> so yeah. Um, yeah. So then I was on my way back home and, um, I live like two hours away cause college, but, um, I was on my way back home. And I was like, my dolls, where are my dolls? And I texted my mom and I was like, like, do you know where my dolls are? And she's like, no, they're not, they're not anywhere. I don't see them. Like you must have them. I was like, I don't, I don't remember putting them anywhere and I don't see them in my bags. And I was like, like it hit me. It was like, it was like a that so raven, raven moment. You could get into the future. Future. And I was like, oh my gosh. The burrito bags were the same exact I was like I know what happened I was like they might be in the trash my dolls are in the trash with the burritos um so my mom looked in the trash of these creepy dolls that she doesn't like she she rescued them yay so um here they are and again I kind of want to make crochet clothes for them but they're so small. Okay, here we go. Here's this one. Okay, I'm really gonna make sure they focus. Okay. Okay, there's that one. She is the tiniest. And then here is the mid sizest. And they're kind of broken, but like I can figure out how to fix them. So here's this one. See how tiny and cute they are? Like, that's what really got me. Like, look how tiny. <gasps> okay. And then, <laughs> this one, this one is gonna sit right next to Benny because, <laughs> ah! <laughs> um, I need to fix her head. She, she just needs her head fixed, okay? Look. Look how sweet. Ah! <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, I just need to fix her head. But there she, whoa. Okay, girl, you gotta work with me here. Okay, here, perfect. Okay, 
So that I think is everything I have to show y'all. Um, there's probably more, but right now I think that's it. Um, <laughs> so that is the video and I hope y'all enjoyed. If you stayed this long, oh my gosh. Wow. Um, I hope you liked it. Um, I really like long videos because like I can just sit there and crochet and I don't have to like switch videos every two seconds. Um, so hopefully I have some viewers like that. Um, cause this was a long one. Um, but anyways, that's all I have to tell y'all. Um, thanks for sticking around and subscribe and like. Bye!